on the ground. Gratitude is due to both the cast and I and the audience salute you. It is now time for me to say good night and thank you. And on behalf of the cast, President. Al Jolson stood on a stage after a great benefit performance of some of the greatest stars in show business. <coughs> a benefit that's where the actors perform free. And he said the unforgettable line, you ain't heard nothing yet. Well, I must tell you that after the way we've been entertained tonight, anyone who would stand on this stage and say that would have to be out of his mind. <laughs> tragedy. I think he would have preferred it the way it is now, alive again and filled with what we've seen here tonight. Now, all of these stars who've performed and you've heard, E.G. Marshall has told you about the backstage stars that made this a success and had to be a part of this or wouldn't be here, but there are two that I think should come up here and since they're seated with performers that performed in the show tonight, Joy, would you bring Howard, and Millie, would you bring Tip and come on up here? And Tip, I've been married for more than 40 years now, and I've been wanting to ask Millie 
Millie, could you give me some hints as to how I could make Tip happy? <laughs> I said these people jokingly should go into show business. Believe me, I would offer the first engagement in the Oval Office to David Copperfield. I've got a few, I've got a few things I'd like to have him make disappear. <laughs> the Middle East, the deficit, well, I could go on with quite a, quite a list. But to all of you and to all of them, for them to be so wonderfully kind, entertain us as we've been entertained here tonight and for all of you to do what you've done. You know, I've been told that here in this country of ours, we support with voluntary contributions more uh, opera, more symphony, more theater, nonprofit theater, more ballet, more things of the creative arts that way than all the rest of the world put together. And when you see what has happened here with this this particular project, I believe it. In that tradition, we have just formed, and they have held their first meeting this, this last week, a Presidential Commission of the Arts and, and Humanities. And uh, the honorary chairman of that is Nancy. And, uh, I assure you, she didn't get appointed because of who she knows. <laughs> but I think it's time now. We've come to the end of a very wonderful evening. Americans support things they believe in, and you've proved, oh, how you've proved that you support the Ford Theater. And we'll just, all of us, have to declare in our hearts that uh, when we leave the stage, another generation will pick up and this theater will be here as a part of American history, open and alive forever.